A few hours after we filmed the GB News interview you're about to see, the Telegraph newspaper revealed that the British government has been making all manner of ill-advised symbolic concessions to Spain regarding Gibraltar. Apparently last summer, in the summer of 2023, at an air display, uh, Britain's renowned aerial display team, the Red Arrows, were supposed to fly over Gibraltar with their much-loved red, white and blue smoke billowing out behind them. Leaked memos now reveal that the British government cancelled the Red Arrows after the Spanish government objected to this display of British sovereignty. This followed other remarkable concessions that the Telegraph has revealed, including, unbelievably, cancelling a planned visit to Gibraltar of one of Britain's flagship aircraft carriers, HMS Queen Elizabeth. It's quite remarkable for Britain to appease the prickly and hot-headed Spanish government like this. However, it was done, apparently, in hopes of not putting obstacles in the way of an important treaty between Gibraltar and the EU. However, we now know that the British governor of Gibraltar said that these concessions simply made Britain look weak and they would be exploited by Spain. The Spanish would do well to remember that Gibraltar was legally acquired by Britain by treaty with Spain in 1713. The same cannot be said about Spanish ownership of two enclaves in Morocco, which as far as I know were never legally acquired by Spain from the North Africans. People in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Gibraltar has been sovereign British territory for more than 300 years and it shall remain British in perpetuity or until such time as the Gibraltarian people decide otherwise. Here's the interview. Foreign Secretary Lord David Cameron is having talks with Spain over the future of Gibraltar and there are various sticking points following Brexit and one of them is that the Spanish want greater management of Gibraltar's airport. Well I'm joined now by the historian and broadcaster Rafe hadel -Mancou. Rafe, it's always an absolute joy to have you on the show. Now a lot of people might say it's just a small rock off the coast of Spain. Why does that matter? You're about to tell us, aren't you, why it's very, very important for British sovereignty. Indeed. Well, Gibraltar came into British possession in 1704 during the uh, War of the Spanish Succession. And ever since the Treaty of Utrecht of 1713, Britain has had rightful ownership of, of the territory, which is one of our British overseas territories. And unlike, say, Hong Kong, which we leased from China for 99 years, Britain has a never-ending ownership of this. It's, it is a, an ultimate ownership, and there's no chance of it ever being ceded back to, to Spain, despite Spain's claim to ownership of the territory. And importantly, since uh, 1969, uh, the, the Constitution, or the, 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 the people of Gibraltar have asserted that only when they agree to, be, to go to Spain will there ever be any possibility of a secession of sovereignty over the territory. And they last held a referendum on this very topic in 2002. And the overwhelming majority of Gibraltarians uh, said that they wanted to remain uh, part, of, part of Britain, uh, part, well, uh, you know, an overseas territory. Although there have been calls actually for Gibraltar to actually apply to become part of the United Kingdom, which, are, which would of course secure its future. But that's, that, that's a discussion for, an, for another time. And Rafe, um, brilliantly put, by the way, a great history lesson as ever from you. But in terms of um, giving away sovereignty, for example, watering down of airspace rules, of freedom of movement rules across the border, this is getting into the territory of Brexit, of watering down our international borders and our relations. And that is the thin end of the wedge. Where could it end next? The Falkland Islands? Yes, you're, you're quite right. Well, you know, I would advise anyone who goes into negotiations with the Spanish on this sort of an issue to remind them that they have their own enclaves in Morocco, in Africa. There are two areas of, of Africa which are in the EU, and those are the Spanish enclaves of Ceuta and Melilla, and they have been owned by Spain to the Moroccan chagrin 
or even longer than we've had Gibraltar. So uh, once they're willing to have discussions with the Moroccans about ceding sovereignty over their territory, then perhaps we'll allow them to come back and have some discussions with us about, uh, about Gibraltar. But you're quite right. But there are serious issues here for Gibraltarians because uh, they weren't included in the 2020 Brexit deal that was done between the UK and the EU. And there were terrible scenes just you know a couple of years ago at the Gibraltar border where the Spanish authorities were denied denying entry into Spain from Gibraltar to British nationals if they couldn't prove that they had hotel accommodation or tickets for onward journeys. So there are serious issues being caused for Gibraltar here, much like Northern Ireland, although in many ways it's a much more uh, present uh, issue for Gibraltar, given that the EU is their only border. They don't have a, uh, access to the UK as Northern Ireland does. So there does need to be some sort of agreement here. I'm told in the last few minutes, uh, the, uh, the, the the Premier of Gibraltar has said that they're within kissing distance of an agreement. But importantly, this is a decision, not even for the British people, this is a decision for Gibraltarians to make. And whatever the Gibraltarians agree with, the British government will go along with. An excellent history lesson, superb, filled full of data, filled full of passion, a true patriot, Rafe Hadelmanku. Thank you so much.